we're back with Steve Wolf here, and we're going to talk a little bit more about stunts in school. Well, how about that? Yeah, what does stunts have to do with schools, and why would you want stuff being set on fire in your cafeteria? Right, would you? Yeah. And that's that's actually what I do. You know, I work as a stunt and special effects coordinator. Most people don't realize that when they're watching a stunt, they're watching somebody on fire, they're watching a car crash, they're really seeing physics and chemistry. Kids are fascinated by special effects in movies. They are bored to tears with what they're learning in school. And what I try to do is bridge the connection so that the kids can see that the stuff that's so fascinating in the movies they love is actually done using the science they're being taught in schools. So I take their fascination with the stunts and I channel that so that they bring that fascination to the classroom. So tell me two or three examples that you sure. find fascinating to kids, like the, you know, their eyes shining. Absolutely, and... all right. If, if I take one drop of smoke fluid and I put it into a smoke machine which adds heat to a liquid to turn the liquid into a gas, when those molecules fly apart, one drop makes enough smoke to fill an entire school cafeteria. And they, they look at this enormous cloud and they can't believe that all of this came from one drop. And do you go so, down that? So, what do you, Have you done that? Oh yeah, we do that every time. We've done this show over 2,000 times in schools. Wow, uh, all over the states? All over the states uh, and internationally. Wow. Um, another thing that's really fun is to use pulleys because pulleys essentially multiply your strength. The, the number of ropes that something's being held up with on pulleys divides the load. And since the tension is equal at all points in the rope, the number of uh, lines that are holding up, I call them parts of line, so we, like for pulley, you know, I'm spelling of wrong, but you count the number of parts of line that are holding the person up, and you divide their weight by that number. So if you have a 100 pound person, but they're being held up by 10 ropes, well, it takes only 10 pounds of force to lift that person. What a way to so teach physics. Conceptually, it? that's one thing, it's all fine and good on paper, and that's how I was taught it. Somebody drew it on a blackboard, and they said, okay, la, 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 there, this proves that you can lift heavy things. A board, right? Yeah, and I knew that, to me, this didn't prove anything. All it proved was she could draw on the board. You know, I drew myself with wings, and I said, okay, I guess this proves I can fly over Central Park. You know, it's just an illustration, not proof. But I actually went home the day that I was taught police in fourth grade, busted open my piggy bank, took my money down to Home Depot, and I bought nine pulleys and a hundred feet of rope. And I brought them home, and I attached the pulleys to a branch at my house. And I hooked them all up just the way my teacher had drawn, and then I went to my house to look for something really heavy to lift. And the first thing I found was my mom. And I, I said, Mom, I, you know, I gotta try this thing out. My teacher said that I could lift things that are heavier than me. I'm not saying you're heavy, I'm just saying, you know, comparatively, you weigh more than I do. And she let me hook her up to these pulleys, and I started pulling, and my mom came off the ground. And she's going higher and higher up into the tree. She started screaming, and neighbors came out to see what was going on. I thought this was the funniest thing in the world. So I've, I've been working with pulleys almost every day since then. I love it. So this that's great. huge fun. So we do that in the, in the school. We show how a second grade girl can lift the principal of the school or the football coach, hold them up there with one hand. What it's an opportunity. And you have fun. a book to share, too. Yeah, I wrote a book for kids. It's called the secret science behind movie stunts and special effects. And what this book is, is this book is the way I wish I had been taught science. When they're talking about chemical reactions, you know, I want to see something on fire. Fast pictures. You know? Yeah. Uh, you know, I want to see explosions. I want to see illustrations of atoms and molecules. I want to see fire. You know, I understand the difference between a complete propane reaction and an inc incomplete one. I mean, why is it that this is the same thing burning, but it's different colors? So, uh, really, you know, I hated, the, I hated the way science was taught in school. It really turned me off. And uh, this is supposed to do a better job. How can people get a hold of uh, you and the book? They can get a hold of me at scienceinthemovies.com. Scienceinthemovies.com. Yep, and there'll be a little thing you can click right there and get the book right off the website. Wonderful. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. What a, My pleasure. Fun. Thank you. Thank you.